Hello, this is Pastor Farrow, and I'm here in front of the church at St. Matthew in Lancaster. And um, I hope you don't get too dizzy today. I'm going to be walking around the property and um, showing you the property and talking about the sermon this week, um, which is on the Holy Trinity. It is the festival of the Holy Trinity. And in this festival, we hear Jesus telling the disciples at the end of uh, the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, he says, go, therefore, he tells them to go. In the last few weeks, the, gospel, the, uh, the disciples have been huddled quite a bit. And um, Jesus tells them to go each time. And he says, go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So a lot of times we're very familiar with church and we're very familiar with how it is that we walk into the doors of the church. And often it is very hard to go. And so one way of going is getting out into the neighborhood and uh, learning the neighborhood. And here at Pleasure Road and Fountain Avenue, where the, uh, and Grandview Avenue here in uh, Mannheim Township, where our church sits, where St. Matthew sits, um, it is a beautiful place. It sits in a gorgeous neighborhood. So I'd like to introduce you to some of that neighborhood. So I'm gonna flick the camera now. There we go. And hopefully, if I get my finger out of the way, you can see exactly what I'm viewing right now. And this is uh, Pleasure Road and Grandview, where the two come together. And this is a beautiful uh, church lawn here in the front of the church. I'm gonna walk around a side that probably most people don't get to see very often and um, see what the neighborhood looks like here. There's this little place down through here where the kids from school a lot of times will cut down through here um, on the way over to Catholic High or wherever it is that they're going. And um, it's a nice little place because I'm going to be coming up on the driveway in the back of the church um, where I most often go up into my study here, the pastor's study, that's the back door there to my study. And then that's the back door to the kitchen too. And you can see our lovely trash cans there. You really are getting a back, back tour here. And our shed where we keep all of the tools and whatnot and the lawn mower. And then in the back of the church here is this beautiful memorial garden the final resting places of the ashes of many of our members and friends. That is a good way to be involved in the community, to have a memorial garden as well. One of the best things that ever happened to this church for outreach purposes is once upon a time a Boy Scout troop wanted to do a project here, an Eagle Project, Eagle Scout Project, and they put in this playground set. And wow, when it's on a day that isn't so rainy and cloudy like today, a lot of times there will be kids out here playing on the playground. I'm walking down Fountain Avenue here, Catholic High is over on the left as you go down the street. There's this beautiful tree here that provides some awesome shade. Love it. And very soon, sometime in mid-June, hopefully June, uh, going on July, um, a Girl Scout troop right about in this spot right here is going to put a little free library which will be great for the community. This is this big luscious lawn that we have here. And that second Thursday and during the summer, June, July, August, and we're going to have uh, fun on the lawn, it's called. We're going to be breaking out the wiffle ball bats and the balls and 
uh, cornhole and all those other fun games and just maybe breaking out uh, lawn chairs and just having fun passing out freezy pops to people in the neighborhood Grandview is a big neighborhood for walking so a lot of people walk their dogs through here it's a good good way to meet people in the neighborhood it's a really tricky corner here that people come around the corner really fast you got to be careful <clears throat> and this is the view that a lot of people see when they come around the corner for the of the church and if you're planning on visiting here this is a this is probably the view that you'll see as you come along st matthew church the geraniums that were planted here are from Pentecost. Beautiful red geraniums. And there's that church right there. Yay! So, all during the Easter season, actually before that, during Lent, Jesus was walking with his disciples and walking out into the neighborhoods and going and meeting people where they were. And even after the resurrection, Jesus would come and find his disciples hiding out. They loved, they loved to hide, as I said before. And he would find them hiding out and he would come and find people right where they are. God calls us to go and find people right where they are in the midst of their lives and to listen. And so now, <clears throat> in the season of Pentecost, after the gift of the Holy Spirit came to the church, God calls the church to come out of their four walls, if you will, out of the upper room. He calls the disciples to go and to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're back again to the church lobby where people come into church. Most people will come through these doors here. A lot of people like to go through these traditional red doors that lead right straight into the sanctuary through a little bit of a narthex area. <clears throat> so I'll flip the camera back again. <clears throat> I hope that you weren't too dizzy along the way. So as I was saying, uh, in the, the season of Pentecost coming up, we will be back to the book of Matthew as we were before Easter, primarily the book of Matthew. And so we're into the heart, we're into the meat of what Jesus has to say to his disciples. We're in the meat of Jesus meeting people where they are, the blind people, the lame, the uh, raising people from the dead, um, just finding people who are on the margins in life and going finding them in their places and offering them God's peace and offering them living water and truth and everlasting life. My prayer is that in this season of growth, this green season, this season of Pentecost, that you will know that God is with you and that you will grow in God's grace. Know that God is always with you in every time and in every space and in every season. God be with you. And if you haven't been to St. Matthew before, come and visit with us. And we'll walk the neighborhood together. And we'll play on the lawn. And we'll worship God in the sanctuary. And we will grow together. God bless you.